Okay, so the topic um, of the next subsection, we're still in 10.3. Um, the next subsection is converting from polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates. And textbooks are kind of obsessed with converting from one type of um, coordinate system to another, with going from polar to rectangular and rectangular to polar. And I think that obsession can kind of cloud the actual usefulness of polar coordinates. Um, in general, polar coordinates are useful precisely when the rectangular coordinate system doesn't work well and you can't do a nice conversion. Having said that, if you ever have, you know, just a single point in the polar coordinates, let's say, the point three comma pi divided by two, and again, I'm going to jot down that this is in polar coordinates just because, because you, well, there's no visual difference between polar coordinates and rectangular coordinates. They're both parenthesis, number, comma, number, and parenthesis. So there they point in polar coordinates. Let's try to convert it into rectangular coordinates. And um, we could do this example probably in our head. It's, it's 0, 3. But let's try to work out something a little more systematic. So to do this, we can say, well, we have a point in polar coordinates. Here's our angle theta. Here's our radius r. To convert from polar to rectangular coordinates, we need that side of the triangle. That's the x-coordinate. And we need this side of the triangle, that's the y-coordinate. And now, using right triangle trigonometry, the sine of theta is the opposite over the hypotenuse. It's y divided by r. And the cosine of theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. It's x divided by r. And we're going to take each of these equations. And we're going to solve for the um, rectangular coordinate. That is, in this first equation, y is r times the sine of theta, x is r times the cosine of theta. Now, go back over here. We are given r, the radius is 3, 
and we're given theta, the angle is pi over two. So this conversion can be done in a plug and play manner using those equations. What's the X coordinate? Well, X is R three times the cosine of theta, the cosine of pi over two, which ends up being zero because the cosine of pi over two is zero. Then y is r times the sine of theta. The sine of pi over two is one. So this ends up being three. And just as we sort of suspected, I mean, from looking at the picture, this point, three comma pi over two and polar coordinates, is zero comma three written in rectangular coordinates. And you can do this with any point in polar coordinates. We obviously made our life simple with that pi over two, because this is a sine and a cosine that we can take mentally without reaching for our calculator. But if it were, you know, pi over six or 0.17 or any other number, we can still take the sine and the cosine of the angle. We'd have to use our calculator in that case. And we can still find x and we can still find y using that formula. So converting point is a very plug and play process. Trying to take an equation in polar coordinates, something like r equals two times the sine of theta, trying to go from an equation in polar to an equation in rectangular would be quite a bit trickier. We'll talk a little more about that in a later video.